Welcome. What, what you put? Call the verse out. What you read? Call the verse and chapter you reading it. I'm finna show y'all something. Acts 2.37. And see, he said he reading Acts chapter 2 and verse, verse 37. Now, read that over again. Watch this, y'all. Read that again. Yo, go to Acts 2 and 37. We're gonna cut this straight. Who are afar off, as many as the Lord God will call. So you're twisting Gentiles. Uh, we ain't twisting Gentiles. Uh, now, let's jump up to verse 36 right quick. Break it out, huh? Read it up. The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 36. Now, I want you to pay close attention because people read stuff and they take, the shit, they take it out of context. But we're going to read what the Bible says, though. Read it up. Therefore, let all the house of Israel. No, it didn't say the house of Israel. He said, let all the house of Israel, man, read up. Know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Read on. Now when they had heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Now who was they talking to? Were you talking to everybody or was they talking to Israel? Right now. Yeah. You would run your mouth, but we would go to the Bible, man. That's Why right. you playing the game with you, man? That's you right. You can tap all you want to, man. What about the, the scripture going to say what they say. No, no way. Okay. Yeah, you can please the guess what? Like I said, you in, you in the ring with a line now. No, no, this ain't no joke to be playing. Read with it. Y'all guess what? He I'm did. Right? Yeah, yeah, if you did, you won't you be battling the bike. Huh? See, the thing is, give me Psalm 111 and 10. This out, is what huh? you have to do first to understand what, you, what, you, what you're supposed to be doing. You don't understand the Bible because you're not living like the Bible tells you how to live That's first, right. man. Bring Read that up. Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But if you fear the Lord, guess what? You'll be keeping the Sabbath. You'll be saying that. You will be saying that, Moses. Oh, that's the way y'all reading the old law. Like, wait, but when the brother asked you what the new law is, brother, you just asked my brother. Man, you asked my brother, why is you reading the old law? So he asked you what the new law is, and you got quiet. So you lied, brother, again. Read this again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You don't fear the Lord because you lying about it. You got to be real with yourself first. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. Read. A good understanding. A what? A good, good understanding. understanding. How you start understanding the Bible, brother, read. Have all they that do his commandments. You got to be doing his commandments. Give me John 5 and 46, man. See, because a lot of times y'all play that, man. But well, we going to go to the Bible, man. We going to go to the Bible. We can't keep playing with y'all like this, man. We got to show you what the Lord say, man. Read that, huh? Teach us. Chapter 5, verse 46. Uh -huh. For had ye believed Moses. What, what did Christ say for this man that said that stuff was done away with? For had ye believed Moses. Read. He would have believed me. You would have believed Christ. That's right. So when people run in their mouth, you just talk to man. Read that again with a brother. He said, what? I read that again. John 5 and 46. Uh -huh. For had ye believed Moses. Had you believed Moses. Read. Ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. Because so Moses what? wrote of Christ, man. Read on. And guess what? Hey, this wait, ain't, this wait, ain't wait, no plan no tap dance. Let's wait, go keep hey, reading. But if ye believe not his writing, if you don't believe Moses' writing, read. How shall ye believe my word? How could you believe in Christ, man? You can talk, but we go to the Bible. We prove our things through the word. He's talking to the Hebrews living under the law of Moses. And read this again, man, because brother, you are seeing with a hot iron, brother, if you're not hearing with the Bible. Yeah, I know you can't, because guess what? You've been confounded several times out here, and you're not comprehending. We have it for you, but you got to humble yourself down, because you got pride on you, brother. Break it out, huh? You got definitely pride on you. You said you just got saved. Saved from what? trying to get the Hebrews living under the old law to get into the new law. What's the, what's the new law? Jesus Christ. What is that? Show us, tell us what it is. Repentance of sin. You know? Coming into repentance. Ridding yourself of the sin, the sinful life you live. What is sin, brother? Huh? What is sin? You know what sin is. No, I'm asking you, brother. You know what sin is. I don't know. I'm, you you hey, say you teach me, teach me. I know my sin. Anybody, everybody. No, we're going to go to the Bible. Let's go to 1 John chapter 3, man. Break it out, huh? See, because guess anybody, what? We don't talk. We go anybody, to the Bible, man. We just hear you talk, and we're going to cut it straight as every time, man. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin, did what? Transgressed also the law. 
addiction. So brother, all, everything goes back to the law. No matter how you try to go around, you cannot get past the law, man. So Jesus wasn't trying to convert the, the Hebrews into believing in him. In Jesus Christ. was coming to bring the northern and southern kingdom back together. That's you don't right. understand the split, so you can't tell us about it. Because the thing is, you don't believe Moses, you don't be the rest of the prophet. But then you go straight to Paul, and you want to learn from Paul, but you don't understand the New Old Testament so, first. So, How you going to go half of the Bible and try to go and try to tell me about the whole Bible? So, you can't happen that way, man. So, You're going to dig yourself into a pit, man. So Jesus, That's what's going to happen to you. So Jesus wasn't trying to, to, to get the Hebrews to believe. He was trying to go get the Gentiles, which was the, right, which was the Israelite of the Northern tribe in the Gentile state of mind that you don't know. Let me ask you. Give me ask you. Hello, uh, 21, 21. What, 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 what is Christ? What is Christ? What is Jesus Christ? He's the Mashiach, the Hawashiach. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. So what did he come to bring? He just brought a red idol of scripture to you. See, that's, 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 no, 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 that's what Christianity do. You tell me. 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 We're going to go to the Bible. We're going to go to the Bible. Okay, we're going to go to the Bible. Give me Matthew chapter 1, 21. No, don't tell me. You see, everybody want to hear everybody else. Oh, I want to hear what you say. No, no, we don't go to the Bible. Do no. you want to be away from the Bible? That's what Christians no. do. I'm reading the Bible. Read it out. Matthew 1 and 21. Yeah. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. For he shall save his people from their sins. See, that's, that's what I think about our, about our king. Oh, Jesus. What? Anybody? Scripture, can you go to prove that? Anybody who repents? See, that's a lot. I just read That's a lot. Then we just Gentiles. shred. We just cut that to shreds right quick. Hey. We just cut that to shreds right quick. And I, just read, I just read to you. The Gentiles should be higher than the kingdom too. Bro, he and cut that to shreds too. Brother, are you not hearing the scriptures? No, I'm, I'm dang. Watch this, man. Read this up. Matthew yeah. chapter two, verse six. And thou Bethlehem, uh -huh. in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. Uh -huh. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. So why do you not hear this? He keeps saying Israel, 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 over and over again, man. Yeah, hold it, hold it. That brother, he ain't, he, like I said, I give him that, you probably choke out. Read, what's he, what's he got, brother? <laughs> I know you're going to say what you believe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to say what yours because you see it. I can see you trembling. I see your hands trembling, man. Yeah, Come I, on, wait. I've never spoken like this. Anymore. Yeah, I know. I know. Right. You, you can perceive my today. insight unto the mystery of Christ, that the Gentiles, our fellow hires, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus. Who's the who gets the Hey, problem? wait. In Christ Jesus through the gospel. What's the gospel? Good news. What's the good news? That anybody could be saved. No, the good news that he's bringing the northern and southern kingdom back together, and then we make it to the king. Yeah, give me Proverbs 28 and 1. That's what we do to the wicked, man. See, because you like to read your little scriptures, and guess what? You can follow the pit right along with the rest of your, your fellow people that want to be Gentiles. Read it up. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. What did the Bible say? The wicked flee when no man pursue it. Read! But the righteous are bold as a lion.
See, the thing is, they don't understand the prophecies of this Bible. But what they do understand, God loves everybody. That's right. But guess what? That's right, dog. Huh? He had to change subjects because he can't find it on Google. He had to change subjects because you can't find it. We still wait for somebody to show us that, man. I'll get at the truth right now today when you show me God love everybody. But you can't find it, man, because God don't love everybody. Let's go to Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. And guess what? We're going to show you how to break Romans 9 and 13 down. So when people know we got the understanding, we're going to show them what that thing is, man. Read that up. Which are some things hard to be understood, which they are unlearned and unstable wrestle with. They are unstable, they wrestle with. Yeah, y'all scoop back a little, little bit, man. But that, that thing right there, that mother catch everything, man. Now, let's go to that, let's go to that Romans chapter 9 right quick. Read it up. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh-huh. As it is written. Because it's written in the book of Malachi, man. Yep. That's why they telling you that. So let's go back to Genesis. Go, go to Genesis chapter 25. We'll show you how to break that thing down. Read. Yeah, huh? Jacob, have I love. See, because Jacob have I love. See, Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Read. But Esau. Uh -huh. But Esau. Esau is a so-called red man. Which is called the so-called white man, man. Or the down south, we call the redneck, man. Read. How I hate it! Now Esau have God hated, man. Because them devils robbed, stole, and killed, man. They go, they got his gold, oil, and drugs, man. Read on, huh? Verse 14. What shall we say then? He said, what shall we say then? Read. Is there unrighteousness with God? Read. God forbid. God said, hell no. It ain't no unrighteousness in me, man. Read. For he said to Moses, No, he ain't saying nothing to Moses. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. He told Moses, I'm going to have mercy on whom I have mercy on, man. Read, man. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He said, I will have compassion on whom I have compassion on. Because he told the 12 tribes of Israel. And we can't change that thing, man. You won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear, been to war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're going to be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Bring it Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. He said the real Jews are in mourning. And the gates, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black. Now the so-called white man wrote this Bible. They are black. If the so-called white man wrote this Bible and stepped on it, they would have took out that the real, real Jews are black.